Hi guys, so I'm heading to my appointment now. Uh, I just want to kind of bring you guys along the whole experience because I feel like basically I'm just going to try to make a video that I, I would want to watch if I was just getting lip filler. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was planning on filming this video once my lips were completely not swollen anymore. But there was a little thing on social media that happened today, not a big deal at all. I just thought I'd film this now to clarify any weird speculation. So I've been planning on doing this lip filler video for half a year now. I had originally got my lip filler dissolved. I can put like a little clip of what that looked like. Um, nothing in my face, literally no filler in my face, my lips, literally nothing. I decided to start getting my lips done again, and I don't know if you guys remember, I filmed this video in my car driving, and I was just saying how I just had gotten my lips done, and I wanted to film a video, but I also didn't want to be encouraging people to get filler, and it's a tough thing. I also grew up where if you get any type of work done, it's supposed to just enhance your natural beauty. It's not supposed to look super fake or scary and all that. But I know that you guys are really curious where I get my lips done and I want to be open and honest with you guys. It's really like, I don't really feel like there's really nothing to hide. I feel like it's kind of obvious I get my lips done at least a little bit. Not that they look crazy, I just, I have very small features. I mean, you can't obviously tell how big my face is, but I have a very small face and very big eyes. So when I got my lips done, it did change my face. I feel like a lot, because I have such sm small features and my lips were pretty small. Um, so the reason I'm filming this today, and I really am not that ready to film, like I feel like I look kind of gross, um, did not do my hair, you should see it from the back. Um, the injector that I went to, which I'm gonna, um, leave her below and then I filmed a week or two ago the whole experience of me going um, Injector filmed everything that we did the whole process and because I was planning on filming this video I'm not hiding anything if I was hiding something. I would not love let her film what we were doing um, but she uploaded them and So she uploaded what we did and then she, her assistant or someone added other shit that we didn't do so they said i had a full face correction and like fox eye which i looked up and fox eyes like when your eyes are like pulled back or something but i didn't do that so i just want to talk to you guys about my experience with lip filler what i actually got done and i was getting tagged in a bunch of stuff on twitter today that was saying Paige is a liar she's lying that she's only gotten her lips done so what we did this time and what i was making this whole video about what i was going to share with you guys because we filmed the whole thing was that I got my lips done and then we had a little bit left over, a little bit of filler left over. And we put a little bit right here on my cheek and then a little bit just right here. So not the whole jawline because I, she felt like it would even out. Um, it would even out the fact that my lips are bigger now because I do have such a small face. So I wouldn't say it's a full cheek filler. Well, just a little hit and a little hit here, not the full thing. Um, I really like the way that it looks. I naturally have very high cheekbones, and so I feel like it really enhanced like the natural structure of my face. Um, but this was the first time that I'd ever gotten any filler put in my face. So there was there were people saying online that I was lying because I said recently that the only work that I've gotten in my face was my lips, which was true. People say that I've gotten a nose job. They say I've gotten all sorts of shit. Um, so that's not true. Um, and I just wanted to share my whole experience with you guys, especially because I know that you guys have so many options, especially in New York City with injectors and all of that. So I thought that I would share my experience. I got my lips done three years ago, maybe for the first time, and they use a different technique. Um, and then recently after getting my lips dissolved a few months ago, I started doing this technique called Russian technique. So it's called Russian style. It's Russian style of injecting. And it's basically where they shape your lips and they're more flat. So I feel like the other style, it was more like your lips would stick out kind of like duck. You look kind of like a duck. I mean, on me personally, I didn't love the shape of my lips before I was doing Russian. So I felt like she completely was able to kind of reshape my lip a little bit. And that's why I love doing the Russian style. I have no Botox in my face, as you can tell. Not that I wouldn't get Botox, but I just don't right now. So I wanted to answer like the basic questions about lip filler, 
Um, but I definitely wanted to make sure I addressed all of that. I don't have any idea. Like, I don't know why anyone would think that I would let her film that um, if I was trying to hide it. So that makes no sense. But there was kind of a mistake, which is a big mistake in my eyes, that they said I did procedures that I didn't, um, which was the woman who uploaded its fault, not actually Olga, who is the nurse. Um, she has her assistants and people help run her social media. So there was a mix up or something. Uh, so I definitely wanted to address that. And I just want to make sure you guys know that I'm not lying about anything. I was fully planning on making this whole video about this whole experience. Yeah, so I definitely highly recommend kind of what I did. I really like that we use majority of the half syringe in my lips just to like touch things up and then just a little touch here and just a little touch here. I think it looks really nice. I like the way it looks. It's not permanent, it'll fade. And I don't know if I would do it again, but I'm not like mad about it. I guess I'll see. Um, I don't really mind it at all. I think that um, at least what my injector was telling me is that a lot of people do this and like models do this where they'll use like left the leftover from the lips, just like little bits and little areas. And now that I think about it, I feel like a lot more people probably do that than people say, um, even though it's my first time doing it, I do really like it. So, I mean, it's not that much of a difference, honestly. If you watch my videos, you know that it's probably like, doesn't look that much different at all. Um, it's just like the slightest little, just to elevate kind of my natural, face shape. So a lot of the questions that I get asked, the obvious ones, are pain. So it is kind of uncomfortable and painful to be honest, but it goes by fast and I think it's worth it. I love the way that my lips look and I feel much more confident when I get them done. I would say it's pretty painful, honestly. Uh, doesn't feel great. I think that the Russian style actually is a little bit more uncomfortable than the other style, though a lot of injectors will just go here and then go up and put the needle up and then just fill the lip this way. So, so it's, you're not getting punctured as much. With the Russian, you're kind of just going in from the top. It's just like a little bit more invasive, I feel like. I don't get my lips done that often. I'll go once a year or twice a year. This is twice a year this time, and now I'm gonna be done. I'm probably not gonna have to do it for like another year and a half. The lip lasts pretty long for me. I, that's why I got it dissolved last time because I felt like the first time I ever got filler and that injector, uh, didn't didn't do the technique that I liked. So I wanted to dissolve everything and then start fresh. Everyone's body metabolizes filler differently. There's also all different types of brands of filler. You should talk to the woman who's injecting wherever you're going about what's best for you. If you check out this woman's Instagram, you'll see how she shapes the lips. And I feel like it's just a different look. I feel like it's more shaping, less just filling, if that makes sense. I'm trying to think of other questions that I get. I feel like the main question that I get is where I go. And I will link the woman. For me personally, say if I move to another city, I will always go to a Russian style of injecting. It's just a completely different technique. I couldn't actually film her doing the technique to me because she doesn't like people to film it because I think it's like her art and she's very, very talented. So I think she doesn't want people like necessarily straight up copying her technique, but a lot of people now are starting to do this Russian technique. It's from Moscow, I believe. And it's, I just love the way that it looks. And I feel like it was definitely like a game changer for me because I have such small lips. And I feel like my lips are more prone to look like ducky and not that good and not that natural. But with going with the Russian style, I feel like once they settle a little bit more and they're not as one, they do look really natural. I posted on my story a week or two ago and I said, you know, the only work I've gotten done is my lips. And a lot of people didn't know that. They were like, I didn't even know you had your lips done. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I feel like you'd know I got, I have my lips done now because they look significantly bigger. But if you didn't follow me, I feel like they do look natural. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. I just feel like, yeah, I just, again, feel like people just want to know where I go and that's where I go. And again, if you cannot come to New York City, find someone in your area. How I've always found people to do any beauty service for me. For example, my hair lady, I looked up hashtag blonde specialist New York City. For example, for my lip filler, I did Russian technique, Russian filler, New York City. I always look up hashtags. I love looking that way. I feel like it's a really good way to find local people in your area. On a completely separate note, before I play the part of me going in the whole experience and meeting Olga and hearing her kind of take on things, I did film a vlog last week that I'm waiting to get approved by a brand. So 
the timing of this was kind of shitty because I was planning on that that vlog was supposed to be up by now which me which I talk about going to get filler in the vlog and then this video was going to be up she uploaded all this shit and she uploaded the incorrect stuff that I got before I even uploaded this video and if you follow me you know I was gonna make this video but there are a lot of people who troll me online and are trying to like catch me in a lie also discredit my the way I look and tell me that I'm all fake which I'm not uh the timing of things was a little bit tricky, which is why I'm filming this literally right now when I'm supposed to be going to brunch to just let you guys know because I was filming a whole video on this and there are a lot of people who think that I am lying about the work that I've gotten done to my face and I just want to make it clear that I've never gotten filler in my face besides my lips, besides today, and I honestly barely got anything done, but I'm going to be honest with you guys about it because I literally have nothing to hide. I love the way it looks and if you want to get it done, Go for it if you don't. I just wanna make sure you guys know I'm not trying to encourage you. And if you are young, I would suggest waiting until you're at least like 19 or 20 to get it done. I feel like just be in a good headspace before you get it done. I feel so much more confident and so much better about the way I look when I get my lips done. I was a huge insecurity of mine and I would edit my photos to make my lips look bigger and now I don't have to do that. And my goal in general is to just not have to edit my photos. Um, you know, so that and getting my lips done made it so I didn't have to do that anymore, which is great. Um, but I definitely think that if you're young and if you're insecure or if you feel like you have to do it to look a certain way, don't do it. Do it for yourself. And if you guys have any questions, I'm going to be answering all your questions in the comments. So please let me know. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's kind of rushed. I feel like I'm talking kind of rushed. I was again not planning on filming today. I don't know if I've answered every question, which I probably haven't. So definitely comment below and I have to run, but I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna to try to get it up as soon as possible because I don't want people to think I'm lying about anything because I was literally filming a video on this whole experience, so. So I'm just gonna film kind of the whole experience, going there, where it is, who she is. Um, and obviously, uh, there's gonna have been a sit down portion before this. I'm gonna film after um, That will have most of the information in it about everything and just answering all the questions all of that This is just gonna be me heading to the appointment uh, I can't actually film her doing the actual procedure because she does a certain technique and it's her art so uh, That's not gonna be filmed, but I will film right before right after and answer some questions with her Pleasure. You like it? This is Miss Olga. So she is the one who had done my lips. She completely changed the shape of my lips. So I'm gonna tell you guys everything. I can't show you guys the actual procedure, but I'll show you guys everything before and after. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna do the Russian lip technique on this gorgeous girl. <laughs> uh, basically, the point of the technique is to uh, make the lips more enhanced to add more volume more vertically instead of them sticking out so the look is going to be a flat lip look um so i definitely always say russian and she's definitely the best in the city i guess and russian <laughs> and she's russian <laughs> okay guys i just got back from my appointment this is the final result they're swollen as fuck right now uh they will not be this big they're super swollen but i hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I mean, there are just so many places to go in every major city, and this has been a game changer for me, this woman. I think even if I ever left New York, I would fly back in to get it done with her. So definitely check her out. She does get very booked. Um, so be patient, it's worth it. Sometimes if someone's not booked, that might mean that they're not as good. So definitely DM her, follow her on Instagram, all of it. She's the best. And until next time.